COVID-19 has changed the way we shop and for small businesses that are considered non-essential, they've had to close their brick and mortar locations for the time being and open up shop online. I'm Emma and this is Darlene and we're gonna talk about adding WooCommerce to your WordPress site so you can sell physical and digital products to your customers. If you have a WordPress website for your blog, hobby or brick and mortar, adding WooCommerce is a great option to get an e-commerce platform up and running. When you add the WooCommerce plugin, a wizard walks you through setting up some of the basics for your online store. And once the plugin is installed, you can add your products and configure it to look however you want. Yeah, taking the time to set up and configure your new storefront is something you'll want to continue to benefit from when the dust settles and life gets back to normal. Will you show us how this is done, Darlene? Sure thing, Emma. Let's get to it. The starting point is your WordPress admin dashboard. Choose plugins and then add new. We want to install the WooCommerce plugin. I can see the WooCommerce option in my GoDaddy recommended section, but if you don't see it, you can enter WooCommerce in the search plugins field. Let's choose install now. It'll take just a few moments and you'll see the install button change to activate. So let's activate it. The WooCommerce wizard displays. It'll ask you a bunch of questions and as you fill in the information, it's creating your e-commerce site. Let's see how it works. First, enter where your store is located. I'm gonna choose the US and then enter in my address. Select what type of currency you wanna accept. I'm gonna choose US dollars. And I'm gonna say I plan to sell both physical and digital products. If you have a brick and mortar store, choose that you'll also be selling products or services in person. I'm gonna leave mine blank. Choose let's go. Now choose if you want to help improve WooCommerce with usage tracking. I'm going to enable it and then continue. WooCommerce can accept both online and offline payments. You can choose Stripe, PayPal, or both. You can also say you'll use offline payments. Please note that you can add additional payment methods later. We're going to select both Stripe and PayPal and then enter the email address that we want to use to create our accounts. When things look good, click continue. Now you're ready to set up your shipping options. There are two shipping zones, one for the US and one for the rest of the world. For the US, I'm gonna choose free shipping. I know that more and more people are shopping online and they expect free shipping and I don't want them to pass up my store because I charge. For locations outside the US, I'm gonna turn off the option because I only wanna ship in the US for now. Let's click continue. At this point, choose what recommended features that you want to enhance your store. The automated taxes is a no-brainer because it calculates taxes for you upon checkout. And you don't want to be off because trust me, the government is gonna come collecting. MailChimp will help you sync customer lists and send emails and targeted campaigns to your customers. And Facebook is a great way to extend your reach to get your products in front of more potential customers. I think all three of these options provide great value, so I'm gonna leave all three selected and then choose continue. Because we said we did want the automated taxes, the next screen is connecting us to Jetpack. Let's choose to continue with Jetpack. You'll be prompted to create a Jetpack account. Enter your email, create a username and a password. Congratulations, you're done with the WooCommerce wizard. At this point, you can sign up to get product updates. Choose to start adding or importing products or go to your admin dashboard. We'll let you look around and go through these options on your own, but take your time, add your products and publish your site when you're ready. That's great, Darlene. Thank you so much for walking us through the wizard. There's a lot of steps, but the wizard makes it easier for sure. Thanks for joining me today, Emma. Stay safe and stay healthy.